We're doing another home page site review, the desktop, the mobile, and the page speed insights. I'm gonna refresh this page just to see if there was any animation as it came in. So we can clearly see there, the images there aren't loading. I'm gonna hit return again. There was a delay of about five seconds. I'm gonna try that again. So the image is taking about three to four seconds to load. Sometimes it's two seconds. I think any time where you get a white screen and then the ap image appears, there is a problem there. And obviously that might prop up when we do page speed insights. But we have a logo. I'm gonna say straight up, I'm not liking the shadow effect on the logo because you've got this gold effect here with the buttons and the dot there uh, and the outline as well. And uh, yeah, I, I would have that as a pure gold. Now, if that's the logo, that's the logo, but it kind of feels a bit off for me with the grayscale image at the back. It's kind of, it just isn't working well for me, but if that's the logo, that's the logo. Um, I quite like the, um, the font here. Um, I've already checked out the font. It's the Tico font, I think. I quite like that font. It's really nice. It works really well as a headline and a menu. And the button up here, let's talk. Yeah, that's working okay. The image is good. It's a nice, strong image. Growing your business is our greatness. Okay, that is good. It's a nice, strong one. Uh, you've got a subheader there and you've got buttons down here. Again, though, we got a, that image in the background. It's slow to load. I don't know if you've got lazy load or something else going on there, but I would stop that lazy loading for your first two images, okay? We scroll down. Now, the space here is a bit tight. We shape the perfect solutions. Can you see here? There's more space here than there. And I'm going to say try and make it consistent. I would increase the spacing. This I do like, I have to be honest. I do like this. I'm wondering if this is something that's work in motion because you've applied this to the first tab uh, or slider or column, whatever, but you haven't done it over here. So I'm going to assume that you're still modifying this. I do quite like that little bit of um, uh, um, uh, movement there in the little icon there with the, the border radius. That is nice. And I like that effect there. That's quite nice. And I will probably say that if you're going to go for this effect, I would kind of say make a decision over what you're doing. However, that being said, you could have just the top one doing that and the rest don't, but then it might confuse people. Now, here's where you're going to have an issue. Do you see your uh, your sticky header? Look at your sticky header as I scroll up and down. There's no color change in your header. And I would apply a color change, even if it is just a transparency black color, something, transparency charcoal, because of that just looks really ugly. I look. Look at your, your menu right now. It just looks wrong. And when we get to here, right, that just looks awful. Because look look at the button we got over there. That just, you know, so I would say you've got to add a bit of a transparency. We've got a video. Uh, when you scroll down your header, a color appears. You don't need any extra plugin. Just a bit of CSS code. Go and do, do a search for scroll um, uh, background color change scroll, something like that. You'll find it. What you also want to be doing is making these consistent because uh, this just looks really off now when you don't have that. Again, I'm just going to put it down to you hadn't put it in. Um, you know, you just got to add in another break point or something like that after the uh, the header here just to increase the spacing. We need to sort that out. Again, we got the issue over the spacing. Now, I just want to make a point here. See the spacing here? That's got to be at least, what, 150, 200? I'm just going to do a quick check. Um, I reckon that is about 150. No, well, not too far off, about 160. Mate, you could even go up to about there, say 140, right? If you're going to do 140 roughly here, you've got to do, if you're going to do about 140 here, you've got to do that here and, you know, uh, here and here. Y you've got to have consistent spacing because it, 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 it's jumping out at me very, very much at the moment. Good spacing there. That's okay. But again, I would say, you know, consistent spacing. Uh, I'm not liking this. Uh, I feel like you need to make some grayscale logos because this just looks a little bit, you know, you got a circle here with this like shaded effect. And I would say stick this logo into Canva, use the circle frame, which allows you to drop that into a circle, completely ignores the background because that just looks off. You know, and I might do the same here, but um, because that looks odd. Look how small that logo is. It just, it just, right now I've got to this bit and this has just like put me off from going any further. That's just how I am. So I would sort of add out. 
Again, look, make sure you're spacing. That's a nice spacing. That's about what, 75-ish, 80? That's a nice spacing to have within your sections if I was doing it. Uh, this is okay. This, um, you can't see. Accessibility, this, 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 the, co this, the contrast here is wrong. And I would say that you have to add in a, uh, a dark overlay. So a black overlay and then drop the transparency over this image because it's just not working, that, that color there. This is what I mean. So you've got these logos, right? The logos aren't the same size. Again, consistency is key. Make them consistent because you could argue, well, they're different heights, but you can still make them middle. And if I was to draw a line in the middle, right? So let me get this here. And I draw a line through the middle of baked. Look at that. It's kind of below that one, below that one, and just about a third of that one. You've got to make them consistent in where they sit on the page. Uh, when you get to this bit here, that's okay. Um, I'll tell you what's jumping out at me now. You got an image there, and then all of this wording is beyond the image. And I would, if I was you, change either the height of this and then set it to cover for the image or reduce the amount of text you got here. And I would just say, do you really need to have all this? I created the foundation and the strategy of the digital approach. There are many. Uh, see, look, this is all starting to read a little bit generic. And I would go back to Hugo if that's a real person. And I would just, I would, I would seriously chunk this down. I'm aware the business constantly changing my commitment is a, this just reads to me like, you know, when you get a CV, everyone CV says, yeah, I'm really passionate. I love doing what I do. I, I love what I do. I strive to succeed. I'm a hard worker, a team player. It starts to become just like gunk. It's like, yeah, I know everyone says that, but I would reduce that. Now, when you get to the expert team, again, look at your spacing. Spacing is key. Now, over here for these people, I just want to make a point here. You've got a circle here and a circle there, right? You haven't got oblongs or egg shapes, okay? They're circular. And then you, and you got circle there as well for the social sharing icons. Good, consistency. And then you've gone for oblong. Make these circle. And I know these are probably fake people, I bet. I don't know. But make them circular if you're going to do it. And you've got to increase the spacing. That just looks so tight. I would have at least 50 pixels between them. 40 is a minimum. And after that, everything is gravy because that's not even like, that's like, what, 15? I bet that's 15. Uh, no, 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 it's 20, actually. No, I was wrong. It's 20. But I would double that at least because it, it, they just look too tight to one another. They might be a close-knit team, but we don't need to know that. This now is a bit of a problem where you've got no space. And again, you've got this banner here. And again, get your spacing in. You need the spacing there as well. Spacing, spacing, consistency. Um, again, the same thing with this banner where I said the background overlay. You get down here. Uh, again, look, spacing, spacing. I would have this at the top. Have this in line with this full name. Have it here. We are here, always here to help you. And then you've got the form over there. Have it further up. Um, I don't think these need to be that big. I think these are quite big. You know, I mean, look, this is bigger than your bottom. This is quite big for spacing. I would say you could at least, you could easily halve that. You could easily halve that and then have all of this nicely fit within kind of like this structure here. I think roughly you could, if you play with it, get it to roughly fit within that structure roughly. This bit down here just feels off. I think this is probably work in motion now. Uh, let's get your project store sorted. This just feels started. This feels off, you know, the background. Have it as black. So make sure you continue this, um, whatever background you've got here with like the gradients and all that, the topography, whatever you want to call it, and have this in there as well so it ties in because it will look so much better. And then we get down to here. Um... This definitely needs um, uh, standardizing in terms of where it sits. I mean, look, let's start here. That logo has got to be on the left. Don't have it centre, left aligned. That's got to be further up. That's got to start up here. That's got to start further down. Then you got this. Shrink the email. Doesn't need to be that big, bulky in a way. Uh, the try it. Yeah, you know, again, you can shrink it. But, you know, that it just needs to level it up. Push it up, push it up a bit and all that.
Okay, that's the desktop. So there's quite a lot of things you've got to do there. A lot of it is your spacing um, and just working on some of your um, your sticky header, uh, your, your team and all this. And the wording here, it's just really wordy. That's a lot of words. Read it. How long does it take for you to read that? I bet that's going to take you a while. And it doesn't inspire me. It reads very much like Laura Ipsum. I'm a founder of exceeding my expectations. It offers results. This just feels like it's, it doesn't feel real. That sounds really harsh, but it does not feel real to me. It just feels like they've just gone off and got loads of key buzzwords off Wikipedia or wherever. So I would say get it to be more genuine. Like, look here. It's essential to work with people who fall in love with your project, share your vision, above all, feel passion and commitment. My ice cream man could have written that. So it's, I would say that needs to be changing. Not a criticism, but it needs to be feel more real and genuine. It doesn't draw me in that at all. Um, we get over here. Um, you know, I like this. Navi I like the bar change. I like that. I love that. Now, your menu is not coming in. I'm going to assume this is a work in motion. OK, I'm going to assume it's a work in motion and that's why it's not showing. Uh, we've got this. Um, yeah, I, I like I like the fonts you've got over here. These buttons could be further down. You see the space you've got here. Let's say that's 40 pixels. You should have at least 40 there as well. There's no need for your buttons to be so tight up. There is something about this wording on the grayscale where I can read it. But I think from an accessibility point of view and contrast, it's it's a little bit. I just don't know. I feel like that background image, you need to have a, a darker overlay because it's just, you know, I'm, I can read it, but someone else might squint a bit and not read that properly. It all depends on how much you care about accessibility. And I would say you should do. Now, look, again, the same issue with the sticky header. You see that? Look, it's it, it's there, but it's it's interfering with what I can read with. So it's a bit, you've got to add in a color change. I would go for a charcoal effect, dark charcoal effect bit of transparent, tiny bit of transparency, but have that come into play. I'm going to just skip all this because it's clear that you're you're still working on this or work in motion, but you've got to sort this out um, with your, obviously, your, your font sizing, use REM, your margins, your padding, all of that. I mean, this is, it's, it's just not right. When we get down to here, consistency and how it looks, I would have at least, uh, I would have at least maybe uh, 30 to 40 pixels because otherwise they start to feel a bit cramped. The padding on the left and right hand side is good, or the margins. Mm, yeah, again, look, can you see that? Cups of coffee, you know, uh, different size screens, it might look okay, but the contrast just does not feel right. Repeated image, get rid of that. Since 2017, um, look at the spacing there. That's, that's quite big. This now feels detached from the header. So I get that. I would, I don't know, you know, your spacing just seems a bit off. I would halve this and have this start here. And I would also look, you've got, you've got to pay attention. So I would drop the font of this because on a standard iPhone XR size screen, your dots over there. Um, it might in real life work, but sim the simulation is saying, no, it's going to carry over. Sort out your logos here and your spacing. Our work showcase needs to be a space there. Our work. Our showcase. Our work showcase sounds weird. I would just put our work or showcase or P. I don't know. I, I would reword that. Spacing over here. Like, look, this really is, in contrast, this really doesn't work. You've got to increase. You've got to change the sizing, number one. You've got to watch your padding left and right, and you've got to do a background overlay there. Watch your spacing over there as well. Join the ranks of clients like consistency. The logos there are not the same grayscale as what we had before. Again, sort the sizing out on that. We get down to the founder. I mean, the other thing I didn't mention on the desktop was you've got the team in circle and then you've got the founder in square. Consistency. So make them all circular or make them all square. Um, sort the wording out, sort the, make it, if it's going to be circle, fine, but then make everything else oblong circle consistency. You got to have at least 40, 50 pixels spacing, like, you know, like, um, so I scroll up here, let me do it again, right? This is John, right? But if I do this, 
is this now, John? Because it's so close. And you could even argue that this here, the John section, is closer in pixels to this image than it is to that image. Look at the space here. And look at the space there. So you've got to think about placement and where things go and how they, what they connect to. You've got to sort spacing, spacing, uh, contrast. Um, that I would drop the font size here. It probably sounds like I'm saying a lot, but honestly, this will help you. Um, this, you know, you could you could easily shrink the size of this form. I think in terms of the height, this feels off. It just feels like the background. It just feels off. It's too big as well. I think. Uh, uh, the central, like, look, if you're going to do left and line here, you've got to left and line these as well. I just think that you need to have just have a bit of consistency there. And then you've got your newsletter. Now, what's your page speed insights say? Your desktop is going to show 69%. This is your image. This is the fact that your image stops stutters in uh, four or five seconds. Then it was three seconds. Then it was about two. Then it went back to six when I was testing it earlier because I did it about quite, I did it several times. You don't see all of them on the video because I was like, okay, what if I click? Does it come quicker? What if I scroll? Does it come quicker? So you got an issue over there because your server speed is okay, but your image, there is a problem going on there. So I think you're lazy loading. If you're lazy loading your images, do not lazy load your first two images, right? Uh, let's go to mobile. 55%, the same Im image issues kicking in, you know. Um, time to interact, I mean, yeah, that's a lot of that service speed. But look, if we look here, right, I don't know what you've got. So I don't know what optimization you're using, you know, but but it feels to me like something's not right here, okay. Um, your images, um, if you put them into WebP, that might help you. That might help you a bit in terms of loading time and speed, but I'm just, I can't, I, there's not a lot going on here for me to probe a lot deeper. But what I will say is that you need to get your images and don't lazy load your first two images. Seriously, don't lazy load them and things might work quicker. There's quite a lot there I've been pointed out and I hope you don't, don't get upset by it, but play around with it, have a look, and I'm sure you'll work out the best solution. But your spacing, your, your contrast, your accessibility, your uh, your logos, your team, the, the, the content you got for Hugo, you know, make it more interesting to read. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I know you've subscribed, shared, and followed, but anyone else out there, I hope this homepage review helps you out as well in case you've got a similar website or you weren't thinking about spacing and fonts and contrast as well. Take care and I'll see you soon.